In this world, superheroes have become a part of everyday society. The greatest have joined together to create the Super Six, the world's strongest heroes. But others have become villains, seeking to tear them apart. There are those, however, who only now begin their journey in a city of vigilantes. Many children possess powers and quirks, giving them a plethora of unique abilities that can be used for good or evil. Those who are talented enough attend Monarch Academy to hone their powers and learn how to be a hero. But will they? Welcome to My Hero Origin. In this world, superheroes have become a part of everyday society. The greatest have joined together to create the Super Six, the world's strongest heroes. But others have become villains, seeking to tear them apart. There are those, however, who only now begin their journey in a city of vigilantes. Many children possess powers and quirks, giving them a plethora of unique abilities that can be used for good or evil. Those who are talented enough attend Monarch Academy to hone their powers and learn how to be a hero. But will they? Welcome to My Hero Origin. Finally, I'm up. Jeez, what time is it? Twelve? Ah, oh, no, I'm late for school. Ah, uh, what am I gonna say? Um, uh, it, it's okay. Wait, I could just hack into the school system and I could just change my attendance. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. No need to panic. I could just do that. 
Ah, jeez. Picking up common computer skills is actually a really good thing to do. Well, um... Okay. Good. That means I don't need a rush. And plus, I only missed, like, one class. And let's be real. Everyone really misses class 1A. I mean, my last class, half the class didn't even show up. Well, it's whatever. I mean, it's okay with what happened last night i could just say that it affected me mentally and i knew someone that was at the bank perfect there we go it's really easy to lie nowadays it's just everyone's more focused on themselves that i mean people really don't care what other people feel anymore i mean if you think about it you could lie about anything and as long as you're keeping it up well no one will ever even know I mean, just look at what I'm doing. Two world-class heroes, and... I mean, yeah, some people may know. But that's not due to them being super smart or anything. It's just me, more or less, blundering. Huh. It's funny how the system of real life is, is like chess. You have the big top 1% of society... That being the king, the queen, bishop, knight, and the rook. And then they have their pawns. Which, I mean, obviously are the people that, well, make the 1% of the world their money. I don't know what I'm even saying. What I do know, though, is last night was a pretty good test of my abilities in combat. I've never really done that before, and I mean, I didn't really even get tested. It was more or less just me assisting the others. Maybe I do need other people. I mean, I guess, just using the chess analogy, a queen and her king and everyone else, they do need their pawns up front for the pawns to take sacrifices so that they can win the game. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe, Colin, that's what you've been doing. It's just making all these pawns. Put them in the right place and then sacrifice them when you need them. That's an interesting analogy. Huh. I'll see what I could do about that. Well, um... Anyways. I guess I already have one pawn. Or I guess... A few. Keo and Sapphire being two. And I guess Flex. Who would have thought Flex would be my best pawn? Because without Flex, I can't kill Wonderwall. I mean, what we accomplished at the bridge? And our duo at the bank? When the cops came barging in, Flex and I... We basically stopped them with my smoke pellet and then him shapeshifting. It worked. Interesting. I'll have to look more into Flex. See what he's really capable of. And then maybe... Just like chess, sometimes when the pawn reaches the end of the board, it can be turned into a queen. The most powerful piece of them all. Huh. Interesting. Well then, I need to go to school. I'll uh, adjust the mishaps of my attendance on my way there. I can simply just do it on my phone. I mean, I'm surprised there was even really school with the bridge blowing up, plus now with the bank. Should be an interesting class. Well, let's go see.
Mom, where's Dad? Shouldn't he be here with his friends? G good morning, everyone, and welcome to this emergency assembly. I'm sure you all are very confused as to why you're all here, and if you want my honesty, today's assembly is one I hope I never do. As you all know, Database, aka Angela Walker, was hurt a few days ago on a job and was rushed over here. Some students saw what happened, and I apologize for what you saw. Venus here took Angelo, Ronan, and Davis to their wing and proceeded to get the medical help they needed ASAP. <sighs> Davis and uh, Ronan are both safe and sound, but... Kowalski, I can take over if you need me. Thank you. Thank you, Avian. Good morning, everyone. As you can tell, Angelo has been affecting us these past few days. I'm sure it's been affecting all of you as well. It comes with a heavy and painful heart to say this, but... <sighs> Angelo, however, was not as lucky as the other two. And due to the amount of injuries he had received in his battle with the villains, he was never going to fully recover. And as of 6.47 this morning, Angela Walker passed away peacefully in his sleep and is no longer with us anymore. Away. What does that mean, Mommy? Is Daddy going somewhere? I know he's tired sometimes. Is he going somewhere to get more rest? Angelo was not only a teacher here at Monarch, but he was a close friend and an amazing hero. He broke the boundaries for support heroes around the world, giving them the confidence that they too can be more than just support, that they too can be pro-heroes. He loved working for the police, he loved his family and cared deeply for them, and he loved his job being a support teacher here at Monarch Academy. He was an inspiration to many, and was a wonderful friend to all of us here. We will miss him greatly. He probably would be giving us all a ticket for crying and yell at us for mourning. I know he would do something like that. But Database's wife, Isabella here, wants to show you all something very special. Database from time to time would make videos about his work, store them as things to look back on for his later years down the road. He made one before he began teaching here this year, and as well, he stated that if he ever passed away, he would want these videos to be shared with the public. No one knows what's in this video, but if it's Database, I'm sure it'll be something special. Sophia, Sally, do you mind leaving Daddy alone for a few minutes so he can do his work? Okay, can you read us the book about the big doggy tonight, Dad? Of course, hon. Yay! Come on, Sally. Let's get ready for bed. Love you, Daddy. Love you, too. Gonna have to edit that part out. <clears throat> um, hello, uh, gosh, I hate downloading these stupid things. Daddy? Um, good evening as of the time of this recording. It's currently the day before Monarch Academy opens its doors for another school year, where students will be coming from all different schools to try and prove they are the best of the best to accomplish their goal of becoming a pro hero. Becoming a hero is no joke nowadays. You must be willing to put in a lot of hard work and dedication to become one someday. As a support hero myself, it was incredibly difficult to get to where I am today. Learning information with a simple touch made many people bully me over the years. 
One thing I was constantly told growing up was to give up on my dream of being a pro hero, and every time I told them no. I have never been one to give up so easily, and this is something I want to drive into the students this year. No one should ever give up on what they believe in. If you believe you can accomplish something, never look back and accomplish that goal. I've been lucky enough to have really good friends growing up, but two of them stand out the most, Ronin and Venus. Without them, Database would have never existed. To be honest, if they never convinced me to ask out my wife, I wouldn't have had such a wonderful and strong woman in my life alongside my amazing two children. And for that, I'm incredibly thankful for their friendship. Being a hero is not an easy job. You will see things that no other normal person will see. It can be scary, and it can result in some horrible results. But being a pro hero also brings hope. Hope that will inspire many. I've been told that I am no longer doing support classes this year, and that classes 1A and 1B will have me as their teacher as well, to teach them about support heroes and support items. I hope that with these classes I can not only inspire these children to accomplish great things, but to also show them that support heroes are equals alongside normal heroes in society too. I honestly can't wait for the new classes to start at Monarch Academy, and I'm hoping that this year will be the best one I'm able to teach. This is Database signing off for now. Until the next journal entry. Daddy, are you done? Yes, sweetie, I'm done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alrighty, you two. Who's ready to read about the big dog tonight? Yay! And guess what? Mommy's going to be joining us as well. <laughs> I love being a father. <laughs> I can't believe it. He... died? Uh... I was there. I was... the one who reported... him to... me. I was the one who said that he was coming. I alerted the other villains. If I didn't do that, then the other villains wouldn't have known that he was on his way. Did I kill... Database? Maybe I am a real monster after all. What? Rubik's? What? What? What are you doing here? What? How did he... Get there. How is any of this real? Well, Rubix, why are you showing up now? I need to. I need to talk to you. <laughs>